Airport 90 is really great. This is the 12th episode of the second season of Wings and there will be spoilers from now as I discuss what happens in this episode. And it starts off rather comically with Lowell doing a prank call to Faye for Roy's amusement and they just have a lovely conversation and it's really sweet and I rather enjoyed it. We then have an, a really small part of the episode and Faye is looking after Roy's dog and Roy's dog is in a cage. He is banned from the kennels because of an incident with a chihuahua, if I remember correctly. And when Roy comes home, as I said, there are spoilers here, the dog is out of the kennel and it's wearing a little coat and it's absolutely adorable and it's a very soft, lovely dog. And Roy is shocked, devastated, confused, many, many emotions there. It takes up such a small amount of the episode, but I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Would have liked to have seen a bit more of the dog, but nevertheless, what we got was good. The rest of the episode focuses on Helen and Helen's desire to fly a plane, because initially she's up in the air with Brian and Joe, and Brian lets her steer the plane, and she loves the sensation, so she decides that she wants to learn how to fly, and Joe realises that this is a, a really good opportunity for him to start a, a flying school, and he starts to teach people how to fly, and Helen's very anxious to get up in the air, and Joe basically informs her they have lots and lots of lessons on the ground first and it's very boring and Helen is not interested. So Brian, when Joe isn't listening, decides he'll take Helen up in the plane with him and give her a lesson in flying. And that seems like it would generally be pretty harmless. But then something happens. Brian hits his head. And there is something I want to say about this before I carry on with the discussion. Five years before this episode aired, the Cheers episode Fear is My Co-Pilot aired. And while the episodes are not identical, they are very similar. And it's worth noting that Wings is a Grub Street Productions show. And Grub Street Productions was founded by David Angel, Peter Casey and David Lee, all of whom were working on Cheers at the time of that episode. So I'm not saying it's a coincidence. In fact, I think it's probably not a coincidence that there is a slight similarity in the fact that somebody is up in the plane and they hit their head in this case and become unconscious and an amateur has to try and land the plane. Very similar concept. However, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's an amusing thing. The narrative does play out quite differently, though. I won't talk about the Cheers episode anymore as much as I love it. But with this one, Brian hits his head and he is unconscious, and Helen has to land the plane by herself, and clearly she is terrified. And I think the performance is amazing. Crystal Bernard's performance is very believable, very, very convincing, and it's a terrifying situation, not one that I would want to be in. And one of my favourite moments, actually, is when... Joe gets the call saying that Helen is up in the plane and Lowell is the one who rushes around getting everybody together, telling people to phone for an ambulance and the fire department and all of these different things. And it was really great to see Lowell in action and doing something really brilliant because obviously Lowell comes across as a bit of a an idiot, to be quite frank. I was trying to find a nice way to put it, but I couldn't. And I love him, but he's not always the smartest. But actually seeing him like this with his time to shine, and I think it was really brilliant and a really great moment for all. And actually, Roy said to Lowell, that was really great what you did. And it's so unusual for Roy to compliment Lowell like that. So we had some really lovely moments. And then we had this other amazing moment. There were a couple, actually. The first one I loved is when Helen landed the plane and we can tell the moment when the plane's wheels hit the ground and I could just feel her relief and I was so happy I knew it was coming I've seen this episode before plus I, I knew she didn't die a horrific death or anything because it's only the second season but I could feel that relief and it was so wonderful the other bit that I loved is when Helen's hiding underneath the trolley that Brian's on and Joe tells her to come out, demands that she comes out. And for a split second, it's like he's going to yell at her, but he doesn't. He kisses her. And it's this wonderful moment where Joe is just so happy that she's alive, that nothing else matters. And they decide finally that they're going to date. 
and I'll say no more about that. But I think it's a really brilliant episode. It's very, very well done. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. We had some great moments with various different characters. And I'd say it's maybe one of the strongest from season two. Definitely a really solid episode. 